If you've ever wondered exactly how to grow your Instagram following without all the hype, without all the BS, without getting your account blocked, all of these things, and actually seeing growth, seeing success, seeing revenue, seeing sales coming in from the work that you're putting out, then this video is exactly for you. We're gonna discuss a couple of the different things that we've tried and tested over the years that we have seen make the biggest difference when growing your Instagram following and monetizing that following as well. But before we dive into it, you guys know the drill. We have something very special that we get to do and we're gonna hit the showreel. Let's hit it. So whenever we run different classes, different courses, different online events, people come to us and one of the biggest questions that they have is, well, how is it that I grow a following online? And a lot of people tend to focus on platforms like Instagram and YouTube. In today's videos, we're going to talk primarily about Instagram, but if you'd like us to maybe talk about YouTube, TikTok, other platforms in the future, just leave a comment below. Let us know. We can dive into the specifics of each platform and each algorithm and all the rest of it and make some content around that for you guys. But in today's video, we want to talk about Instagram. And the reason for that is because we see it's the most popularly popularly <laughs> requested uh, platform that people want to grow on. They're like, I want to grow on Instagram. And it's a very good place to be. It all depends upon your niche. However, most people will be able to find their audience on Instagram. And I'm going to assume if you're watching this video that you have already decided Instagram is the place you want to be. Now, the question becomes, well, what is it that I do? How is it that I put something out there to grow my following. And what the first thing I wanna talk about with you guys is what not to do. Because once you have a, a not to do list, it's, it's easy to focus on, on what to do because you know what not to put on there, if that makes sense. I always remember one of my mentors telling me many years ago, don't have a to do list. That's, that's silly, you'll never finish it anyway, right? We all know this, we just keep adding stuff to it. Have a not to do list and that will give you some focus on what not to do. And then suddenly it opens up this realm of possibility and helps you some, it sounds counterintuitive, but it will help you focus on what to actually do because you have a, a boundary of what you shouldn't be doing, what you what you not can't be doing, I don't really like that word, but you know, what, what isn't gonna help you, you know what isn't gonna provide you the results that you want, what actions are gonna hinder you getting where you wanna get to, right? So let's focus on what not to do first of all, and really, things like follow, unfollow, they are so over and done with, okay? I don't think we need to highlight and discuss that any further, but hopefully no one here is follow, unfollowing. It's outdated, it simply doesn't work. It will not build a relationship with people. People buy from people that they know, they like and they trust. And nowadays, a follow is essentially you're selling somebody on the idea of following your content. So they are buying into you, they're buying into you at this point in the process. So they need to know you like you and trust you and a simple follow with no other interaction and then you unfollow them a few days later is not gonna hack it. So unfollow, unfollow, we throw it out the window, that is gone, okay? Other things that we shouldn't be doing is using any bots, Instagram bots, anything that could potentially get your Instagram account flagged because Instagram have settings in the, in, in the algorithm, they have uh, things that will check how quickly are you interacting. Is it at a speed that a human could do it? Because I'm sure maybe you've had this before as well, sometimes you'll be liking, commenting, uh, or, or, you know, actually yourself on Instagram and it'll go, whoa, 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 slow down, your, act, your activity looks suspicious. That is, a, if you keep, uh, how do you say, keep uh, pushing that limit, if you keep getting that, that notification, that's just gonna flag up to Instagram and they're gonna be like, no, 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 something something suspicious is happening here. And they, they might suspend your activity for a while, but we've seen it sometimes where students have come to us and it's even gone to the point of either they've been shadow banned or their engagement is just through the floor. Even if they're posting great content, they're doing all the right things now, they just can't get the reach because they've been hindered by, by Instagram, by the platform. 
uh, or, or sometimes even in, in worst case scenarios, people actually lose their accounts. You might be able to recover them, sometimes they're just unrecoverable. So you don't wanna go to that through that process if you don't have to. So unfollow, unfollow, leave it alone. <laughs> unfollow that, right? Using Instagram bots, using any kind of automation to, to you know, do your engagement for you, don't recommend it at all, it's not worth it. Now, there is a couple of things that you can do to ensure that you get this Instagram growth, and let's dive into that. So the first thing, and some of you might hear this and think, really, is, is that all it is? Is it, is it that really that simple, Seb? And in, in, in actual fact, yes, it is actually very, very simple, but it's, when you hear this, people will feel resistance to it because maybe they don't wanna do the manual work of actually putting in the time, putting in the hours to then see the benefit, to then see the result uh, of what that work produces. Now, what I'm talking about specifically at this point is using something like, not specifically, but something like Gary Vee's famous $1.80 method. Now, maybe you've heard of this, maybe you haven't, leave a comment below and let us know. But the principle behind this is, is that you're leaving your two cents so you're leaving your thoughts, your opinion, your comments, your engagement on a bunch of different posts. So what he recommended was having uh, 10 hashtags that were in your niche that you were playing in, that were, you know, where your audience would be hanging out. You would go through the top nine posts. Um, so when you, when you search, a, you know, you search a hashtag on Instagram, you go on the explore page, you search the hashtag, it would bring up the top nine, well it would bring up a lot no more, but back in the day it would bring up the top nine. So you use the top um, posts or the most recent posts in, under that hashtag and you engage with all of them. And that would add up to effectively $1.80 of your opinion, of your comment, of your engagement being, being shared. Now that because just to do the maths, because I, I, I remember when I first heard this, I was like, how does that add up? So you've got 10 hashtags, nine posts, that's 90 posts, 10 times nine, 90, two cents, double it, 180, $1.80, right? So this is why it has that name $1.80 method. But what we found during actually implementing this, whilst actually implementing this, is that some people, they'll look at 90 posts and go, I don't have the time for that. And that's understandable, however, if you can just set aside 30 to 45 minutes a day, it can be done that quickly. I promise you, you can rattle through all 90 posts. We've, we've tried it, we've been there, we've done it, and it's possible to get through that volume of posts in that time, which is not that long when people think, oh, I don't want to put the work in, you know, they come up with all these objections as to why they don't want to do that, that thing that they know will breed a result. It actually doesn't take that much time and that for me was a, when I timed it, sat down and timed it with the team, it, it was a big uh, shift in my mind of, well actually this isn't as big as a, as a task, as big as a job, as big as, as a responsibility as maybe I first thought. So that helped me actually move through it from there but then some days, you, you might not have the, 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 the time or the willingness, you know, some days are easier than others, right? You might not have the capacity, let's use that word, to actually go through 90 posts. So maybe you just do half, you do 45, you give yourself 15, 20 minutes and you go and do it. And this is sometimes what we'll do as well, is we'll split it into two. So we'll do 15, 20 minutes in the morning, 15, 20 minutes in the afternoon, and then that is done for the day. But if you only get one half done, at least you're still doing the doing the work, right? And, and this is the important thing here is it is that what people will often miss out with this $1.80 method is a couple of different things, is leaving a meaningful in, uh, you know, comment that shows that you've actually read the post that you're engaging on, that's the first thing. But from there is, say you've done all this engagement, you've shown the algorithm that you're here, that you're playing the game. If you're not then having something on your Instagram, some new content coming out, whether it's a story, a post, a reel, we'll talk about content a little bit more in a moment, but if you don't have something coming out as you're leveraging the algorithm, when people are looking back on you, if the last post you made was, you know, even just a day ago, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, it's not fresh enough for people to think, oh, this is somebody who shows up consistently. And this is the big part of it, and you'll have heard this before, and it's not, well, it depends on your outlook. It's so to most people not exciting, not sexy, not not the most fun thing to be consistent with it. Whereas 
I'll look at it and I'll, I'll try and teach this into our students, embed this in the learnings, is that you're making content around something that you love. What is more exciting than that? If you're that excited and passionate about what it is that you're doing, who it is that you're helping, then it should tick all of those boxes for you. Yes, some days will be easier than others. Some days will be harder than others as well. It works both ways. However, it will always tick those boxes of being fun, being exciting, being sexy, being something that you are passionate enough about to do it on the days even when you don't feel like doing it. And we talked about in previous videos as well, the concept of batch creating content so that when you are in that zone, when you're in that zone of genius and you're feeling it, you just make a whole bunch of content, your well never runs dry, there should be no reason that you can't be posting consistently really. So there's a lot of things you can do to really set yourself up for success with this. But the biggest thing is that we see people not leaving a real, as I say, not leaving a real thoughtful you know, engaging comment that shows that you've actually read what it is that you're posting on. But from there, because those people are going to come now and look at your profile, this is the point of it, to build that reciprocity, right? So you engage with them, they're going to come and have a look at you. This is why it's so much better than follow on follow, because it's deeper, it's meaningful, it, it gives you the ability to build know, like and trust, because you're actually having a human interaction with them. It's, it's social media, keyword, it's social. You're building that social interaction into, the, into your, into your uh, content planning, into your action, into your engagement, into the whole philosophy of what it is that you're doing on the platform. So people will, you know, you, you, they, they will feel the need to have that reciprocity where they will want to at least have a look at what it is that you're doing. They'll see your name come up, they'll click it. I mean, you probably have this before, right? You see something come up on your phone, you give it a click, you have a little look through at who's engaged, you know, who's commented on your thing, you go and look at their profile. Right, so this reciprocity will happen when you when you give, you should start to receive. But like I say, the, the, from there, when the people are coming to your profile, they need to see fresh content. They need to see good quality, fresh, highly engaging, captivating content. And that is when most people will say, "Well, how do how is it that I create that?" And I think we'll do another video deep diving on the subject of content creation because it is a whole big conversation in itself. However, a couple of top tips for you so that you can get started right now today with this is lean into what is hot right now. Lean into the trends. So in terms of content creation, what is consumed online, the biggest proportion of content that is consumed online these days is video content. You're watching video content right now. So e even on Instagram especially, they are leaning more into, it obviously used to be pretty pictures and all the rest of it, and that still has its place. But things like Reels, um, IGTVs, Insta Stories, all of that good stuff, the platform, the algorithm is really leaning into that right now. And all you have to do is look at, well, what's getting the most views, what's getting the most engagement on my competitors, um, uh, you know, uh, what's getting on, on my competitor's profile, or on their account, what is getting the most engagement, what is getting the most likes, shares, comments. And from that you can see very easily, well, okay, for example, right now at the time of recording, reels are extremely hot. You post a reel with zero following, you're still going to get more reach than if you just post a quote or a picture. Video content as a whole, will always still continue to lean into that fashion, for sure. It's only gonna get bigger. But right now, what kind of video content? All you gotta do is, like I say, look at, look at your competition. And on, on that word, you should try and look at competition as people that you just haven't collaborated with yet. We always like to use the word collaborators rather than competitors, or people that you are, you know, um, that you admire, that you, that you resonate with. They're, they're your people, they're your tribe, they're not your competition. Side note, <laughs> but look and see what is working for them right now. What are they posting the most of right now that you see them getting the most engagement with? And then you can simply do more of that. We call this modeling. Never copying, but modeling. We're modeling success. With stuff like this, there is zero need to reinvent the wheel. You wanna be going out there and looking at what's already working and how can you put your personality, your stamp onto it. So with the $1.80 method, for example, it's a great, such a great method for, for giving on the algorithm so that you might receive on the algorithm. And to build that know, like, that trust, to build that real relationship as we've spoken about with people, to build that reciprocity. You can take that, you can adapt it. Maybe you wanna do the $1.60 method. 
And they're like, maybe you want to do the 90 cents method, as we've spoken about. You can adapt it to make sure that it fits your routine, your day, your commitment, what you want out of this. We're keeping it real, the phone's going off. We just made a sale, that's very cool. <laughs> Passive income at its best. Now, from there, like I say, you want to be looking at the, the, the content that you're modeling and really uh, figuring out, okay, well, what is it that they're doing? Let me do more of that myself as well. But as I say, put your personality into it, put your stamp on it, make it you. So as I say, what we're teaching people at the moment, the biggest thing right now, as the time of recording, is really leaning into reels on the platform. Um, we had one student post their first reel um, and they got 11,000 views, just like that. And what they did was they leaned into the trend. So they looked into their competition. What were they posting about? What, what of their reels, what of their content had the biggest views? And they did something very similar. They spoke about the same topic. Obviously they spoke about it in their way, with their voice, with their message, with their passion, with their enthusiasm, with all their quirks and their personality. But they were able to follow the trend, both in terms of the actual content and the style of the content. What, what format is the content, i.e. I, a reel. And through that, straight away 11.2 thousand views i think it was in less than 24 hours and that obviously brings more engagement that brings more followers that brings more visibility and when they saw these views coming in what do you think the first thing they did was exactly they started posting straight away onto their story it's the quickest easiest thing keep it real people love Love, 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 love to see the behind the scenes. Again, it's that real relationship, that, that no like, that trust. The easiest way to build that is to go ahead, get your phone, and go ahead and build some behind the scenes, real content on your story. People love to see that. That's why reality TV shows are so popular. They want to know what's actually going on with you. So that's what it is. So I had to put stories out there and then so that they had something fresh that was instant content people could come and watch when they'd seen the reel. And then from there, after they'd done that, they started putting something on their feed, um, actually a, a, a quote and a picture post, just to leverage the, the traffic that was already coming through whilst, you guessed it, they were making their next reel. So I hope that this helps you with your Instagram content and, and really how, how, hopefully you can see now how easy it is to actually grow a following through simple organic methods of simply engaging with other people in a real authentic way and then having something for them to engage with when they come back to you and doing that consistently on repeat whilst leveraging the trends, whether that's the content, the topic, but most importantly, probably the format as well. So I hope that helps. If you found this valuable, leave a comment below, let us know. Uh, let us know if you want us to talk about any other platforms, TikTok, YouTube, whatever else it might be, we can do content on that for you as well. But most importantly for us, just give it a like if you like this video, if you did find it helpful. It helps us in the algorithm as we, as we all know. So give it a like, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and the notification bell next to it because you don't wanna be missing out on any of the videos that we're putting out here on the Wealth Yogi channel for you, speaking all things success and abundance. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today and until the very next video, stay blessed.